is there are there any links with uh, Professor Ernst and his complementary health department? Can I answer that one actually? Um, I really want to go and talk to Professor Ernst, you know, and 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 I'll explain. I mean, it, the the reason why I want to I wanted to answer this was because. I, I did make a comment about Professor Ernst and I said the other, but to me the really important thing about what we're doing and what we hope all of you will be involved in is, let's go and talk to everybody, you know? It's like, even if somebody is totally against complementary medicine and has got the you know, most incredible research to say that something doesn't work, I'm not afraid to go and talk to them. And, and I think this is, you know, what we're really doing here with FI and with, with our GPs and you know, with, with with the team, is I don't mind going and talking to people. You know, it's I've, I've got nothing to fear about it. And by maybe going and talking and opening dialogues, I would love it if Professor Ernst was involved in the research work that Vi was doing. I welcome it totally. Well, I was thinking Simon hadn't said very much, so maybe this is his opportunity. <laughs> yeah, Simon Mills, everybody. <laughs> Do you want me to come and stand up here, Simon? No, well, no, I was hoping not to. Oh, well, what? Thank you. You better introduce yourself and say who you are. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm Simon Mills. Um, I'm a herbalist, um, and uh, I also work at the Peninsula Medical School, and we set up an integrated healthcare program, still run it, uh, and uh, before that we had the Complementary Health Studies Centre. Um, in uh, the University of Exeter, we were the first to to look at complementary health at a university level in the world, and um, we brought Professor Ernst over. Um, so it was our fault. <laughs> <laughs> and then he became my boss, and then we 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 parted ways, and and that was because um, he has a very clear agenda, which is to be detached from. Um, believers of all sorts, and uh, so he, he, he sees his position very much as being a very independent voice. Um, and we all know that he has upset a lot of people, and you know, there's no point in beating about the bush, he knows it as well. Um, and most of us around the table have uh, had difficulties, fights, battles, um, um, uh, but we all live in the same part of the world, um, and I have no doubt that if um, if a project came up that he could identify with, that he would be part of it. Um, but you have to use your his language if you want to work with him, that's understandable. And uh, he would, uh, uh, I think, be fascinated by some of the projects that um, we're talking about here, outcome measures, cost effectiveness, he's very inter interested in that. And as a herbalist, I have to say, he uh, very strongly supports herbal medicine um, and uh, has, has fought to protect um, many of the remedies that have been under threat. So it's a mixed bag. Um, uh, and I would just have to say that this is something that I've said for the last 30 years since working in Exeter, that we all know that actually the centre of the world is Exeter. <laughs> <laughs> Plumpton, 10 miles away, might just... <laughs> 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 <laughs>